Congratulations on the purchase of your new Multi-Handler 200. And thanks for choosing Hobart. With your Multi-Handler, you can count on years of trouble-free multi-process welding. Before you begin setting up your Multi-Handler 200, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips. And remember to wear OSHA-approved personal protection equipment during setup, maintenance, and welding. Before proceeding, take time to review the safety section of the owner's manual that came with your Multi-Handler 200. Start by removing the machine and accessories from the box. Select the plug for the appropriate input power. The multi-voltage plug, MVP, allows you to connect to common 120 or 240 volt power receptacles without the use of any tools. Simply align the arrow on the plug with the arrow on the power connector and push together. Tighten the threaded collar. First, let's walk through the front of the machine. The easy to use color LCD interface has two knobs and a process button, making setup and changeover between welding processes quick and easy. To select your process, simply press the process button and toggle to the desired process. The left knob controls voltage in the MIG and flux cord welding processes. The right knob controls wire feed speed in the MIG and flux cord processes and amperage in the TIG and stick processes. For easy reference, you'll find a parameter chart with recommended settings for each process and basic setup tips inside the door. To begin setting up your machine to MIG weld, make sure the unit is off before making connections. Open the side door of the machine and loosen the knob. Insert the end of the gun through the opening in the front panel until the gun end bottoms up against the gun block. Tighten knob. If the o-ring is visible, the gun is not inserted fully. Then, connect the plug on the end of the cable to the four-pin receptacle on the front of the unit. Connect the work lead into the negative receptacle. Turn clockwise to tighten. Connect the work clamp to your work table or workpiece. The machine ships with the drive roll set for 030 wire. However, if you plan to adjust, push in and turn until the pin aligns with the proper groove setting. The 024 solid wire groove is the outermost groove. The middle groove is for 030 or 035 solid wire. And the back groove is for flux core or stainless steel welding. To install wire on the Multi-Handler 200, place the spool on the shaft, making sure that the pin on the machine fits into the hole on the spool. Install the locking nut to hold the spool in place. The wire should pull from the bottom of the spool. Unwind a few inches of wire and snip so you have a straight piece of wire. Check the tension on the spool and adjust the nut as needed. When a slight force is needed to turn spool, tension is set. Thread the end of the wire through the inlet guide, across the drive roll, and into the MIG gun liner. Close the pressure lever and raise the tension knob until it seats into position. Turn your machine on. To prepare the gun, start by removing the gun nozzle. Straighten the gun cable to reduce any kinks, and then hold the trigger of the gun. Feed out wire until about one inch past the gun end. Select the proper contact tip for the wire size you're using. Thread the contact tip onto the end of the gun and tighten with pliers. Cut the wire about three eighths of an inch from the end of the contact tip. Then, reinstall the nozzle. The final step is to adjust the drive roll tension for trouble-free welding. Feed a few inches of wire out of the gun. Then angle the gun close to an insulated surface such as a wood block and feed the wire until it curls into a two-inch loop on the wood without slipping. If the wire slips before you're able to create a two-inch loop, tighten the knob to add tension. If the wire doesn't start slipping with smaller than two inch loops, reduce tension. Once tension is properly set, 
Snip the wire off, then close the drive compartment. Make sure the MIG process is selected. Before welding with flux core, you first need to change the polarity of the machine to DC electrode negative. To do this, connect the wire drive lead to the negative terminal and the work clamp lead to the positive terminal. Turn both clockwise to tighten. Connect the work clamp to your work table or workpiece. Select the flux core process on the front of your machine. For self-shielded flux core welding, it's not necessary to use a gun nozzle because no shielding gas is required. Now, let's set up your machine to stick weld. Make sure the unit is off before making connections. Insert the stick stinger into the positive receptacle. Rotate clockwise to tighten. Plug the work lead into the negative receptacle. Turn clockwise to tighten. Connect the work clamp to your work table or workpiece. Turn your machine on and select the stick process. Consult the stick electrode manufacturer's guidelines for proper polarity and best results. Now, let's set up your machine to DC TIG weld. Again, make sure the unit is off before making connections. Connect the TIG torch cable to the negative receptacle. Turn clockwise to tighten. Connect the work cable to the positive receptacle. Turn clockwise to tighten. Connect the work clamp to your work table or workpiece. If you are using an optional foot control, connect the foot control to the TIG foot control receptacle. Turn the machine on and select the TIG process. If you are using a process that requires gas, you'll need to obtain a gas cylinder. Common gas types are listed by process and material in the chart on screen. Once you have your cylinder, chain to running gear, a wall or other stationary support. Remove cap. Stand to the side of the valve and open the valve slightly. Gas flow will blow dust and dirt from the valve. Close valve. Thread the large fitting end of the regulator into the top of your gas bottle. Use a wrench to tighten. Next, connect the gas hose to the regulator. Attach the hose from the regulator to the back of the machine and tighten the connection with a wrench. Follow these steps and you'll be on your way to enjoying the capability and versatility of your new multi-handler 200.